So if you guys have been following me for any length of time, you know my basic setup. I have a uh, end cap here that holds the shroud in place so no one can pull the shroud out. That's that jobby over there. Simple tank fitting or bulkhead fitting. Put a washer on the inside of the guard cap. Put another washer underneath and that creates a watertight seal and a locking nut underneath. And it's as easy as this, popping this through and throwing the washer on. Now I'm not going to do the washer up uh, all the way at this point in time because I have a threaded elbow I want to put onto this. So we'll do it, finger tight. We'll say I have this threaded elbow here that will be going on the tail end of that tank fitting. First off, we need to wrap some thread tape around it just to make sure she's watertight. It does help if you wind the same way as you would wind the fitting on. So that way the tail end doesn't get caught. There we go. Now because I'm spinning this on the same way, it won't undo the thread tape. It will make it nice and tight. And you can see that tail is moving there. So just hop up the top here. Now because I haven't tightened this nut all the way down, I can get this on as firmly as I like. And even if it's pointing the wrong way like it is at the moment, I can swing this around and then tighten up that nut underneath it and use my little pliers here just to do that nut up nice and firm so we don't have any leaks and it helps if you grab the nut Robert there we go I think we'll do it yep nice and tight and then back on the top side I can use the marks on the side here to, to correspond with the marks on the end cap, which I didn't show you. Trust me, they're there. I can put this on. And that means that all those holes down the side there will match up nicely, even though this is a little bit dirty. Now I've got to find a cap for this back in a tick. So there we go, there's the end cap. Straight on the top there, and we're right to throw media in. Normally too, just to let you know if this, this cap fitting here isn't very tight, I will throw a 316 stainless steel th screw through the side here just to secure it. But this is an old cantankerous uh, <laughs> shroud and it's not going to come out easy at all. Plus this cap having bits cut out of the side means it doesn't grip it too tightly. So there's no chance of you know, someone grabbing onto it, trying to pull it off and pulling the shroud out. Because the last thing you want is the shroud out and media going down through the drain work, clogging it up. That is one huge job to rectify should probably bring you up to speed on the bed itself. It has been leveled. You can see my janky little supports down the bottom there, but it is nice and secure. Once all that weight's in there, it's not going to move. And it is also slightly higher this end, so any water that runs in will make it down to the other end. In saying that, as you probably saw from the last video, there are dividers there. So not all of it will make it down, but yeah, the bulk of it will give it a nice flow through. And I didn't clean out all that dusty rock mineral um, dust that was in there because that's going to add extra nutrient to the, um, yeah, the media for the plants. And just to show you this media here, this is the dirty stuff that came out of the bed on top of the sump tank in the other system. Very dirty still, and I was going to clean it. But I figure, no, why should I clean it? Because there's plant available nutrient in there. Not only that, the bacteria will still be existing in there. And um, yeah, they'll pretty much all jump back to life as soon as they have an ammonia source. This is the leftover of the clean media from this bed. So what I'm thinking of doing is throwing all this stuff here, the dirty stuff on the bottom, topping up with the clean stuff, and then I'll be adding in the clay from the other grow bed probably tomorrow. So I would like to ask you if you do enjoy the video to hit that little thumbs up button down there and even leave a comment, even if it's just g'day after you finish watching. It helps us in the algorithm basically promote the video so youtube knows to share it to other people and if you haven't subscribed already and you are into aquaponics do hit that little subscribe button then jump on over to the bell icon and fingers crossed youtube will send you a notification if they feel like it when i upload a video to the channel that's enough of me rabbiting on let's get cracking with the build